Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final BBSL between Purple Chest and Rick Reckless. Um, <laughs> now, uh, this is a replay because unfortunately we have technical difficulties during the stream. Um, and yeah, you can also check this out on Rick's Twitch and YouTube. And I don't know if PC also streamed it, but you know, maybe he did. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is horrible, isn't it? The nightmare result for Ogres is getting blitzed on. I mean, for any, everyone, but it's like, you know, he's up against it, right? He's Ogres against Dwarves, and he gets blitzed on. So yeah, um, it's not over, but it's, uh, it's certainly a horrible start. <laughs> Imagine you got to blitz this guy, and uh, and you could probably pull back another ogre as well. I, I, wow, that's a nice, that's a nice cast. I imagine Rick won't pull back another one. I imagine Rick will just take extra hits, but I think he probably should try to. Oh, was that that was the blitz? So he did try to blitz this guy, boneheaded. Now he really has to just free up this guy and get him back. If you ask me. But I know he'll just go for extra blocks. Oh! Well, maybe he was going to try and free him up. We'll never know. It was a 3D, so maybe he was. But that was that's really two horrible boneheads. These two, these two ogres would have been back to protect the ball a little bit. And you know, I'm not saying that Rick's wrong for going for these extra hits at all. It's not what I'd do. But... Certainly, it gives you the high roll potential, right? Making these cars, and it's certainly worked out for him thus far in this tournament. He's got the playoffs. Wow, he re rolls that one. That's just brutal, isn't it? Three, all the key bone heads will fail after getting blitzed on. <laughs> and as much as dwarves aren't the fastest team in the world, um, they, they're, they're like. They, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's still all right, isn't it? They're still getting to smash, uh, still getting to smash the snotlings and put loads of pressure on. Yeah, agreed to that. That's fair enough. You didn't really need the knockdown, but the fact that you're almost guaranteed to break armor, and it does, it does get you through to uh, base the ball if you want, which it does. So he's based these because he like they might double one right. It, it still were basing the uh, the snots even well noblars even though they will almost never fail. Um, they will sometimes. Boneheads, this guy who was the blitz, I think. I think that was his blitz. He was gonna try and blitz one of these and get back. That makes sense. Oh, this guy goes in here. I think this guy had to come back. If these two come back, then you can uh, then you can recover a bit still. But I would have expected this to be the blitz, right? So we can pick it up. I would have expected just drop these two guys back in, drop this guy back in, and then blitz and go for the four plus pickup. And if you if you get the if you get the ball on the ogre, you stabilise. Now this is Rick being Rick. <laughs> <laughs> he moved in the wrong way. <laughs> he could have occupied two dwarves. And this guy could have occupied two dwarves as well. But instead, he completely... He completely opens the floodgates to his backfield, thinking he's going to long bomb it next turn. And... <sighs> I mean... It's not what I'd do. But... You know... <laughs> Rick's wildly optimistic style kind of works with Ogres, right? Because because they have to get lucky to win, basically. Um, you know, Rick's kind of high rolling knit tendencies. You know, give him that chance of the of the getting of the getting lucky and uh, getting the crazy dice that he'll need. But I would have definitely played that more conservatively myself. Cheeky Dubler Skulls. 
So yeah, so now Rick's got this play on. Um, of course, he could have just had not the ball base because he could have had an ogre on these guys, an ogre on these guys, but, you know. He has got his play that he wanted. That fumbles on a 1, 2, a 3, or a 4. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm not too enamoured by that play. But there you go. I mean, the good thing is that if it works, it works, right? But the ball's up here, and uh, the dwarves can't really do anything about it. But of course, PC knows that's very, very unlikely to happen, and doesn't really care about it too much. And there you go, not Rick Dice. Double ones and dies. <laughs> um Yeah, and now it's just a It's a simple pick up and score for PC. Yeah, I, I, I hated this play, but like if if he doesn't fumble it, which is like what he's about fifty five percent to get it away. Um then he does recover, but it was it was really like it's so risky for me. I don't know. I, I would have played more conservative. But then there you go, playing conservatively with ogres against somebody as good as PC who's blitzed you. There's certainly an argument for, for you know for going the high roll. Anyway. I'm definitely not saying Rick's done it wrong, but this was this was wrong from PC, right? This is giving him a four plus to get to hit the ball. It's just got to chain him forward. Then it's a four plus for two D on the ball. I think that I would have just scored as PC there. Personally, I think the the one turn stall is, is too risky. All the safe moves first, and then he boneheads that. <laughs> oh dear. So, of course, now it's a 5 plus 4 plus, so he doesn't do it. And he 1 and 9's the block, so he doesn't even get the base of the ball. And now PC looks like a genius, but uh, yeah, I think that was I think that was too too sloppy from PC, honestly. That was way too easy just to 2D and get the chain in 3 and then get the 4 plus for 2D on the ball. But as it happens, he's probably going to get a few more turns to stall now. Which again, like I, to be fair, like I'd have nothing to fear from these. Uh, I would have nothing to fear from these ogres, right? So I would have probably just banged it in because I just don't. Like I just don't care about them. They're not gonna. They're not gonna beat me, are they? <laughs> you know, like even though they've beaten loads of people <laughs> in this in this Blood Bowl Super League, like Rick has done amazingly with them. But like They're still ogres, right? They're still ogres. You can't be afraid of them. You've you have you have got to play them as if they're ogres. This is 2D on the ball here if you can bang these two guys down, can't you? You can push him to there, follow, push him to there, and then one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Let's see if Rick goes. He's killed a killed a troll slayer, that's pretty nice. Okay, so he gets the push. He should have pushed this one though, I think. And then because he still needed to power the other guy anyway. Um, and of course he failed with both blocks anyway, so he didn't open it up. But um, yeah, I think because if you block with this block up this block this guy first, then a push is good enough. And then, but you do need the power on the second hit. But you, you need the power anyway. And he can he can base with this ogre. Probably should be more aggressive for this this snot. Like, you know, double chief item to here and then screen with the other one. Like, got that snotling to here. Or here here or here, and then the other snotling to there. Or something. Because it's just a three plus dodge to score, isn't it? Because snotlings have titchy, don't tell anyone. I mean you can dodge out this way and and three D. 
But even if he, even if he didn't, but um, even if he didn't have Titchy, he could have just dodged it back out. But I mean, he could. Uh, the point was that he didn't have to tag this Blitzer because he could have just dodged this way anyway. Um, and he gets the three D now, gets a removal, and now he will score. And you know, was that two turns of stall worth it? I I don't know. Honestly, I think. I can see why he did it. <laughs> it's certainly not wrong, right? It's the right thing to do against most people and most teams, but against ogres, ogres are just so bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have cared personally. Um, but then it's bitten other people in the ass this season. That was a dead, and not only was it dead ogre, it was the leader ogre as well. So it was his best ogre that died. No apple for Rick. Um, couldn't afford it with all of the double skills he took. Like with all of this <laughs> six block. <laughs> Six block ogres, uh, and yeah, now it's pretty much over. Um, because this is Rick's drive. He's gonna have a three turn throw teammate attempt. Um, that's basically, you know, his only play. He's not gonna be able to drive down in three turns. So he's gonna have to try. He's got, but he's got several turns to attempt it. Right, one, two, three, four, five. He can get there, then he can go one, two, three, four, five, and then he can go five forward handoff and lob. You could even bring the guy back so he could hand off next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I hate the camera moving. I hate the camera. And, and, and by the way, this is after you turn off. Um, <laughs> uh, the thing, where is it? Uh, wherever it is, anyway. The auto recentering, yeah, it's off, right? It's off, uh, but it doesn't. It's not off, really. It's really not off. You can't turn it off. It happens anyway, right? One, two, three, four, four there, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. So you could. Oh my God, I can't count the squares. Is do my head in. So you could move this guy back, back once. We can receive the handoff, yeah, and he does do that. So now he's got the chance of pick up this turn, then second turn handoff so that he can then move forward with him to be thrown the turn after. So yeah, that's nice. Whew, got there in the end. It's a bloody game. Rick does love fouling with his snots a lot more than I foul with snotlings. Um, Again, probably should have just like double GF out of something here to give himself a bit more of an option or something. Um, like obviously not put rerolls in, but getting this guy to here doesn't really do anything, right? He's not in scoring range. Probably should just made the GF out so that he's in scoring range next turn. And if he fails, so what? It's not, it's not doing what he is. <laughs> Doesn't get banged out. Love to see it. So I wonder if it is worth doing the handoff. I guess it is because then you can move him up ready to, in it in into an ogre cage. Problem is that oh god, he's born head. Uh, it's now kind of hard to protect that. So maybe you don't. Maybe you just move him to here and then do the handoff next turn for draw teammate. Also, maybe you should just blitz this guy, right? And then have this guy as a scoring threat, just so it's on. I think blitzing this guy and then basing him didn't really do anything. Whereas if he blitzed him, powered him, then he could have got this guy through. And GFIs. Was he going to go for the throw teammate this turn? Well, whatever it was, he double ones. Um... I guess he was going to go for the throw me teammate this turn, that's why he based him. And he was going to double GFI. He's going to GFI handoff? And then go back? I don't know. I would have failed anyway, whatever he did. So. I think maybe just standing here was better though. And then go for the handoff next turn and, and you know, do all the. Do all of the dice in one turn. Oop. Oh. 
No, PC gives him back a double one. So it's not going to be 2 0 down at the half, uh, Rick. And there is a chance here, surely, to score. Let's have a look. Uh, four, five, six, seven. So he could just run all the way back and hand off to this guy. Um, he could blitz this guy out of the way and then move him, and then he could go one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI, hand off to him, uh, and then yeah. So th this is the this is the one to do, isn't it? And that's quite easy, right? You just block this guy, block hit this guy, and then you can run and do that. Yeah. I think he should have hit him. So I can clear that, and then he could have blitzed him. Because bl blitzing this guy is the important one, isn't it? Oh, he's boneheaded anyway, <laughs> two of them. <laughs> and he goes for an uphill. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was got hard after that, didn't it? I think an uphill against three <laughs> triple uphill against block is probably not the best you can do. Probably better off just doing the dodges with this guy. Well. Well he gets splattered around. And I mean I'm not saying it's over, but <laughs> it's dwarves versus Ogres, isn't it? <laughs> Just annihilating the snotlings here, PC. All of the tackle. I mean, block's scary enough for snotlings, right? They're armor five. You know, just get it, and they get three dice by everybody, so. Even block is terrifying for snotlings. When the whole team's got block and tackle, it's just. It's just terrific. And also, ogres are really slow. So, like. The disadvantage that dwarves have isn't even that much of a disadvantage against you as well. So yeah, that's a, it's a sad half from Rick, down to 9 players. Uh, PC's only got 10. Um, so it's not that unfair in numbers. And obviously the Ogres can fight back, but... You wouldn't bet on it, would you? <laughs> but I wouldn't have bet on Rick winning any games at all this season, to be honest. Like, you know, an incredible, absolutely incredible performance by Rick. And, like, it is a really good Ogre team, to be fair. As far as Ogre teams go, them just all having block is pretty cool. It is what we'll be seeing in Blood Bowl 3, if anybody plays it. Um, and when Ogres eventually come out and what people playing tabletop will be able to do on Ogres, they will just save up for block because guard isn't that important on an Ogre team. And break tackles being nerfed, and stand firm isn't that good. So I think on an ogre team, you will absolutely just save up for block on every single ogre, and then tackle on on the other ones and stuff, and sure hands and dodge like just all doubles all the time for ogres. Um, this is a slight mistake from PC. Uh, very harsh. This is very harsh, by the way. Very harsh. Um, but <laughs> he's going to make these blocks anyway and follow. Um, he now does. And had he done this block first, um, that blitz would have been a three dice block instead of a two dice block. So, you know, very minor, but, um, you know, technically incorrect. <laughs> he, he could have pushed there, he could have pushed this way and got an extra hit. I don't know if he just didn't want to, or what? I guess he just didn't want to because he's moving them back now. Protect the ball a bit. Is Rick going to launch a Noblar at the cage? Oh, double skulls. <laughs> Rick's dice have been pretty terrible, haven't they, this, this game? Uh, PC hasn't had amazing dice, but... Uh, Rick's dice have been absolutely horrific. So getting the three dice, but the problem is it's leaving... Like you don't really want that, do you? You don't really want your ogre on one. 
Dwarf. Oh, I guess, okay, he's going to kick the shit out of him. Now, now it makes sense. See, I tend to... What, what I find is when I use Augurs... But again, I play differently to Rick, right? I, I just try to play properly. I, just, I, I use Augurs and I try to play conservatively and try to play as safe as I can. And, like, I need, I'm needing my, my Noblars to, like, stand in places and, you know, occupy the field in positions to, you know, interfere with my opponent's plans and stuff. Rick tends to just high, try to high roll with them and... Uh, you know, it's obviously, it's worked out for him. And you can definitely say in this kind of format, against top quality opposition, um, the Triton high roll is definitely the better way, right? You know, there's no point playing safe with a, with a completely terrible team that cannot win if it plays safe. Um, and, you know, there's certainly, certainly like, a, you know, changing gears is a, is a skill, isn't it, that you've got to, you've got to do sometimes to... Uh, change up your strategy depending on the opponents and what have you so um yeah i'm certainly not not knocking rick at all here <laughs> i think this guy could have been one one further across the and not really matter that he's tight but... wow so not only did not only did rick isolate a long beard on on a on an ogre, like two, like two long beards is perfect, right? Because he still gets two dice, and they can't hit you still. So ideally, you want an ogre on two, on two long beards or two dwarves. Some descriptions so. or. And now all of a sudden, there's a boatload of dwarves ready to bez forward. Unmolested, yeah. And he puts he puts him on him, which is fine. And these can still dodge on twos, right? Like, it, it does suck that they don't have dodge on these dodges, but they're still two, so it shouldn't impact them too much. And yeah, look, if he hadn't made that foul, he gets another player here, and it, uh, it doesn't make that much difference, so it's... It's not a criticism. <laughs> I have to keep getting this in. Constant gym disclaimers, because it is a completely incredible feat that Rick... Uh, that Rick qualified for the playoffs at all. I didn't like this much from PC. I think I would have preferred to have just had him out here and like done like a normal, like not any kind of a cage at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we go. We've got a four plus to hit the ball. Just needs to just needs to punch somebody. Got two chances to punch this guy, and then a dodge to hit the ball. And two dice. Gets him with the first one. Oh, I didn't like the follow-up there, because I wanted to get that ogre in here. Guess now. Puts his re-roll in. He's out of re-rolls. And a 1 in 9 again. I mean, he certainly got use out of his blockers, Rick, but depressing, uh, depressing block dice. Oh, and he GFI's with him. And, yeah. Wow. This seems a simple blitz, blitz this guy. Assist, come in, block. Let's go. He only blocks there. I really think it was better to blitz with him and assist and then 2D here. Because even if you don't get the knockdown, you can still do your 1D and you can still dodge with the uh, runner. Um. But PC does the blitz with the runner. I don't know if you, you might have just misclicked or whatever on time. Time is certainly a factor, isn't it, in these games? One minute turns. Makes the dodge. This adds a GFI as well, doesn't it? Does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Never mind. But he gets in, it's two more, and now it is over. Um, so there you go. The first man in the final is Purple Chest with his dwarves. And poor old Rick has been 
Like it hasn't been a comedy mega dicing, but a comedy mega dicing is basically what he needed, right? As Ogres against Dwarves. He needed to have the dice on his side. And they definitely weren't. He got blitzed on. He rolled loads of both downs. Um, and it's just been generally rough for him. You know, it's kind of pointless. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure Rick was wooing his way to, uh, <laughs> to hope, but there's really no hope now, is there? Um, down two touchdowns with only five ogres. There is technically chances, of course, with the one turns. Three cards. I mean, he can't complain about three cards on dwarves. To be fair, um, he's, he has a had good attrition. Uh, just you know, his block dice have been in general poor, and obviously the blitz and, and kind of key boneheads. I think was pretty bad for him, especially after the blitz. But on the on the three turn touchdown attempt as well, had some had some rotten boneheads there. And like, you know, PC hasn't really done anything wrong, has he? Um, this is this is the like one of the horrible things about playing against PC. Like you kind of know he's not gonna let it slip, and he's not gonna he's not gonna give you a shot. Like once he gets an advantage, he like has an iron grip on the game. Basically, it's horrible. It's re it really it is really kind of depressing against PC once you get behind because. You know he's just not letting he's not letting his foot off your throat at all, basically. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is. Oh, he's got the hand off. I mean, he could get the touchdown here, and then he'd have four turns, and there'd be a chance. Okay, he's not going for it. What? I mean, he would have failed the throw, I guess, anyway. But... Okay, I, I didn't like that. I think you just got to lob it there. And if you score, then you've got four turns to, uh, to turn him over and get the 2-2. Two -two. Like, it's Ogres, isn't it? <laughs> it's Ogres. Like, there does come a point where you've just got to say, screw it, and... Uh... Go for it. And I think when you're 2 0 down, that's the time when you can say, screw this, I'm just going to do whatever. Do whatever I can. But now, uh, it's looking like 3 0 is more, more likely than 2 1. Oh wow, he was, he was dodging in! <laughs> uh, well, that is. That is. Oh, he's just running away. Oh, boo! PC! Boo! But again, you know, like, this is the thing, right? There, there wasn't anywhere safe to move up, so he moves back, and. This is exactly my point. It's, uh, it's just so hard once he, once he gets ahead. Absolutely. Doesn't give his opponents a sniff. Oh, he's got, he's got his canoring threat. He does want to go for the 3 0. I mean, he's probably having fun at this point now, isn't he? Lob Nobla, finally. 
Huntington <laughs> gets cast. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And then a bonehead. And then I'm not knocked down. And it's funny, isn't it? Because normally uh, dwarves at low TV, their block is just uh, just an offensive weapon usually. Um, and it's generally only in the, like the dwarf mirrors that it becomes a significant defensive weapon. But uh, in this, there's been so many bolt downs for Rick. It has really saved the dwarves' bake and everyone having dwarf having block. Um, like obviously, as well as the millions of rerolls, it saved Rick <laughs> and turnovers. Um, but yeah, it's, like it, his dice wouldn't have been that bad against against a team other than dwarves, basically. There's a pass <laughs> and a handoff. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, there you go. Three now. It was an amazing season from Rick to have uh, to have done so well, beat the people he beat, got to the got to the semi-finals. You know, incredible, incredible performance from uh, from Rick. And um, I, I gave him no chance before the season started. I like you know of anything, and he, he did great and he proved me wrong. And you know, I maybe I did undervalue block on every ogre. But there's certainly an amount of just Rick being awesome. <laughs> and obviously PC uh, getting to the final. Not really surprising anybody, um, despite the amazing strength of field in the BBSL. Of course, PC is is a Dwarven master, and that does help, right? Like, PC is a Dwarf main. Um, Rick plays a bunch of teams. Loads of people play a bunch of teams. And obviously, PC doesn't play only Dwarves, but he plays the vast majority of Dwarves. And that, that really does help in, in this like in the minute turns uh, kind of aspect of it. He's he's got everything down. And uh, But you know, this is not really surprising, but still congrats to congrats to PC getting to the final. Could have just ended the turn here, couldn't he? He's three nil up. <laughs> End the turn, man. Rick can't even throw a teammate, he's only got one snot left. He just ends the turn, and there you go. Um, an absolute slaughter. Absolute slaughter, and it was a dicing. Uh, there's, there's no two ways about it. Um, but, wow, look at that. 25 knockdowns, 37 pushes, 23 board downs, 16 scores. <laughs> just awful, awful block dice from Rick. Uh, but you know everything else. At the end of the day, he had to get the good dice to win. He got the he got the bad dice. Um, but you know, all all the credit in the world to Rick for getting to the playoffs with the Ogres and PC. Congrats for winning and getting to the final. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.